Hello and welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. Today we are doing something a little different. We are back in Attack the Bee Team. This is in fact my survival castle and the uh, brand new villager living quarters. Why is this guy back? Whoa, hello. A little inclement weather outside, but anyway, this is the uh, servants quarters. And to make the lives of the villagers a little bit easier, I've made them a little recreation area over here with a library that is not quite finished and an internet cafe where they can come and play with a computer and um, you can all, you can buy all kinds of cool stuff on the computer wood, bells and enchanting, diamonds, enchanting table. I think I'm going to take them up on that one actually. Another star definitely I'm going to take take that and various spawn eggs and stuff. Right, this guy I think, yeah, that's him. He keeps getting behind the counter and volunteering to be barista, but today he's just going to stand on the table. Okay, I'm going to do a thing. We're going to turn the rain off. We're going to cheat a little bit. Other than that, uh, everything you see, this is the first time that I can remember in the history of this series that I have done a restaurant episode where everything you see is legit. I have not cheated any of this in. This was not done in creative. This is my actual survival house and part of my actual survival house right here. So anyway, this is the cafe. And of course it can't, wouldn't be a cafe without cafe. <laughs> we have coffee, we have tea, we have fancy tea. Uh, we also have a secret menu with some uh, different coffees on it. We're gonna do some cake and sandwiches and cookies. So. Let's start off with the coffee. Food Plus has undergone a bit of an update. So I'm gonna just take the uh, coffee beans and the coffee grinder. And I believe it's like that, yeah. Oops, I guess you can only do, oh, one at a time. And then uh, the grinder breaks. Okay, well, uh, it's, it's had some use already. I think you can fix the grinder. Okay, yeah, you gotta just have to put glass on it. All right, guys, sorry, sorry I broke your grinder. That's okay, though, because we have coffee up here. So coffee, the mechanic has changed. Now, instead of just glasses of water, now we go to the cooktop, get these coffee beans out of here. I believe it's coffee dust, sugar, and a mug. No? Maybe it's the other way around. There we go. And that will give you a nice cup of plain old coffee. I believe you can also add some stuff to it. Yes, you can add milk to it. And that's about it. Now the thing about these worktop recipes, even when the recipe does not cover the entire worktop, it is very picky about where you place it. It has to be placed exactly where you sh where you see it on the recipe in pretty much every case. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and... Mm, that's good. And we'll just put that mug away because we're gonna do something else here. We're gonna make a different kind of coffee. Remember, I said there's a, there is a secret menu. There is a pumpkin coffee. So, I'm gonna grab a pumpkin. I've got some kind of a buff here. Okay, it's gone and a kettle and I'm going to need to fill that kettle so let's put the kettle here let's put the water on top of it and then here's our kettle here's our pumpkin here's a mug and our coffee and what's the problem I think perhaps the kettle has to be heated yep that's the problem let me put this chicken away. That is the deal. The kettle must be heated before it can be used. There we go. Now, the kettle, the pumpkin, the coffee, and the mug. There we go. Did somebody order the pumpkin spice latte? Hello? Are you, uh, are you browsing door tube again? Can y'all not do that, please? That this is this is a family establishment. Anyway, I'm just gonna. Ah, there we go. 
And no special buffs off of that one, but that's okay. Now we move on to T. Now T is a little different. T is new. As far as I know, the only way to get tea leaves is to punch grass. I, I have not run across any way to get seeds or to plant tea yet specifically. It's just kind of a random thing. So once you get your tea, you have to toast it, dry it out in the furnace like so. I'm going to just put this coffee away. And that sugar. Okay. Let me just um, do a thing here real quick. Here we go. Okay, so we've got our dried tea leaf. Now we need to make a tea bag. So you go to your worktop, take a string, a piece of paper, and your tea leaf. I think I got it backwards. There we go. Now you can uh, use your tea leaf as it is. I think it's the mug. Let's see if I can do this right the first time. Maybe not. All right, I give up. How do you tea? Oh. Just uh, sugar, not the kettle. Okay. Oops, throw the tea on the floor. It's, it just wouldn't be a show if I didn't throw something on the floor. Okay. Tea bag. There we go. There's a little uh, instant tea there. And I do not have enough. Uh, I am too full to drink that at the moment. Now, you can also take your tea bag, and there's various things you can add to it. You can add chocolate to it. You can add dyes to it. I'm, uh, well, I think you have to do it on the on the uh, worktop, though. Like so. Or like so, perhaps. Let's see. Ah, there we go. And that will give you a cactus green tea bag. And you make that. Oops. It may not have been implemented yet. Let's see. Well, I can't because I uh, don't have another mug. Let me just um, order one in here from Mine Bay. Dirty mug, dirty mug, okay. Get a mug. Huh? And kettle, kettle, okay. Ah, here we go. No. No, okay. Oops. Let's try this again. Okay, the tea bag, the kettle, the mug. Tea bag, kettle, mug, in every case. Oh, I think there might be a bug in that one. Because, yeah, you have to have it to make it. I don't think that's what they wanted to do. But anyway, the rest of the tea bags, you put the tea bag on top, the kettle in the middle, then the mug. So, yeah, let's just, uh, yeah, it, it's it's bugged. That's okay. We'll just uh, we'll put that away for now. We'll uh, just leave the secret menu as it is. Let's put the kettle away and this mug. Now let's see. I think that is all the tea that we can really do right now. So let's move on to some uh, some stuff to go with your coffee and your tea. First of all, there's the cake. There is the standard Minecraft cake. But Food Plus offers another option. And I'm going to get an egg and some wheat and this milk. And what else do I need? Sugar. That's right. Now it's almost the same as your standard Minecraft cake recipe. Oh, I think I found an exception to the, uh, yep, there we go. We'll make cheese some other time. Put the wheats on the bottom. I think the strawberry in the middle, the egg, and the sugar. There we go. Wow, I actually got that right the first time. Now, are they, that's the, here's the question, are they placeable? 
My God, they are. So, we have a strawberry cake out here that we're selling for a buck a slice. You don't quite want cake at this point. That's fine. Uh, let's make some cookies. Now, I do not have cocoa beans yet. I haven't found a jungle. I have not found any cocoa beans. So, for now, we're just going to make sugar cookies. And we can actually fancy them up a little bit with some strawberries. Let's put there and uh, there, I believe. There we go. And there's things dying outside. Testificates are slamming doors. It's really noisy in here right now. <laughs> Alright, so, got some sugar cookies. Okay, guys, out, out. Y'all, settle down out there. <sighs> Good grief. Alright, so finally, you don't want a cookie. You want something a little bit more substantial. Oh, hello. Uh, is, is this your, um... Which one of you ordered this tea? Was that you? No. No, you, you're still after gold. Okay. Well, I'll just put it up there. Um, whenever whoever wants it can come get it. Okay. Anywho. So, you, your standard bread will not work to make sandwiches. You need to make sandwich bread. So, let's get a flour out. And we will need to make some salt. And we do that. I'm going to get this bucket of water down. And this filter down. And you pour the water into the filter. Now, I'm going to have to get some more water. Um, I'm Yeah, I've got to put in a sink here. But for now, this is what I have to do. Um, excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, I, it, uh, it's probably not the uh, best. Um, yeah. Let's just pretend we didn't see that, shall we? Okay. Put the filter back. Put that back. That's... Okay, that's enough. So, flour. And then salt, like so. And I've done it wrong, haven't I? Three flowers and the salt. Okay. Well, that's good. That's an opportunity opportunity to show you how to salt. You get some more wheats. Oh wait, I've got enough, but that's okay. I'll make more anyway. Well, why, I don't know why I did that. There we go. Let's just do that. We'll, we'll make two batches here. So now you have sandwich bread. What can you do with sandwich bread? There's a few things you can do with sandwich bread. Let me put this flour and the salt away, though. Let's see. Um, what kind of a sandwich would we like to make? Let's make a chicken sandwich first. Let me get that carrot down. That chicken and that tomato. And let's put the bread here. The chicken, tomato, and the carrot makes a delicious sandwich. You can also do a grilled cheese. And let's, um, we're gonna have to run outside real quick to do that. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. We're going to have to, uh, head out to the cow pen and get a little bit more milk for that. And that's fine. Let me close the, uh, testificate proof gate there. And go through my, uh, convenience door here. And also be ready to, oh, I, uh, I, uh, ditched my cutlass for the uh, video. Let me just knock him off here. I can fly, bro. You can't. Come get me. Nope. Uh-oh. Okay, you know what? You can stay there. <laughs> I have to come in through the front door and avoid him. Let's get a couple more buckets of milk. Say, Sarah, you're flying. If you haven't been watching this series, why, yes, I am. And it is legit. I am genetically modified such that I can fly. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's try going in through the other door. Okay, this is, a, this is a perfect opportunity to show you some of the new trees in Food Plus. This is a coconut tree. There's another coconut tree. I guess I can turn magnet mode off. Here is a kiwi tree, and these just grow wild out in the world. 
And there's also a banana tree that I thought I brought some saplings from back. I guess I didn't. So I have to go out and look for that again. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Oh, geez, I left the door open. This, by the way, is my private quarters. In case you haven't been watching the B-Team series. This is my dining room and my kitchen. And we'll take a look at the Trapper Craft drink mixer again some other time. Here's one of the other new food plus appliances. You basically, you put fruit here. You get stuff out. This supersedes the old coffee grinder. And it uses blades the same as the old one did. Anywho, let's head on back down. What the? Okay, Enderman has been here. Good to know. These rooms I have done nothing with yet. Um, yeah, I've got the villagers living in a luxury condo area here with all kinds of recreation areas and I'm just chopping out stone rooms. Something's wrong with that. They're supposed to be waiting on me, not the other way around. Anyway, so let us make some cheese. Let us make, whoops, I'm doing this wrong. Let's make a cheese sandwich. Now you can stop there or you can throw it in the furnace and you can grill that puppy. And there you go. Now, you notice up here we have dirty mugs. I'm just going to cheat one in here. What do you do with a dirty mug? Well, you wash it. So let's take the dishwasher down. Let's fill it up. And I think it's... There we go. We have to fill the dishwasher. And wash the mug. And then we put it back. Oops. There we go. So that is our look at a little bit more food in the Food Plus mod in Attack of the B-Team. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the uh, Testificate Living Quarters. And let's just uh, get away from all these noisy guys here for a little while. Let's go back into, let's go into my, uh, my private office here. Actually, let's go upstairs. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. Somewhere where it's a little quieter. There we go. Let's just go have a seat right here. Ah. So, thank you for joining me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the show. And as always, if there is a certain type of food or a food mod that you haven't seen anyone spotlight yet that you would like to see played with on the show, just let me know. Drop me a comment and I'll see what I can do. And just so you know, I will be at the Houston Con August 8th through the 10th at the Houston Hilton North over by Greens Point Mall. So if you are in the area, come say hi and pick up a little paper craft Sarah and maybe make a donation to Extra Life while you're there. And that is all for this week. I will see you next time, folks. Bon appetit and bye-bye. <laughs>